Aw, look at all those cute pets. Look at this one wearing his suit. Why, puppy, why? Are you on your way to work? In this video, we will be discussing methods for calculating probabilities using a 2x2 two two table. In particular, I will review how to find a conditional probability and how to use the addition rule. Before we get started, let's construct our 2x2 two two table. We will do this by grouping these pets the most natural way first might be into cats and dogs. We have seven dogs and nine cats. What's that? You didn't see this little guy on the previous slide? First, good on you for being observant. And second off, black cats are so sly. Does this really surprise you? Okay, so the second way I want to group these guys is by color. I know, you're thinking right now, but Michelle, these dogs are brown, not orange. And I might get some trolls in the comments letting me know that they disapprove of me calling them orange. Though I had an orange tabby cat called Pumpkin, and you can't tell me he was brown and not orange. And gosh golly, those cats over here definitely look similar in color to those dogs over there. So I'm calling them orange. Okay, so let's make our two by two table. We have four orange dogs, three black dogs, four orange cats, and five black cats. Okay, let's start. What is the probability that we randomly select a cat? To find the answer to this question, let's count the number of cats that we have. We have four orange cats and five black cats, making nine total cats out of 16 pets. So the probability that we randomly select a cat is nine over 16. Okay, that first question wasn't so bad. Let's try another. What is the probability that we randomly select an orange or black cat? Hold the phone. Isn't that the same question we just answered? Why, yes, surely it is. Then why am I asking it? Well, this is how teachers will confuse you sometimes. And actually, they may ask that you use the addition rule to solve this problem. So let's talk about the addition rule for a second. If A and B are disjoint or mutually exclusive events, then the addition rule says that the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. Let's see if that applies here. Is being orange disjoint from being black? Yeah, we're assuming here that all the pets are one color or the other. They're never both at the same time. So by the addition rule, the probability of being an orange cat or a black cat equals the probability of being an orange cat plus the probability of being a black cat which is 4 out of 16 plus 5 out of 16, which is 9 over 16. Okay, hopefully you're still hanging in there with me. Let's try another one. What is the probability that we randomly select a black cat? This might be phrased as find the probability that the pet that we select is black and a cat. Don't let that confuse you, they're the same thing. A lot of students see the word and, and they're immediately wanting to use the multiplication rule to find the probability. That isn't necessary here. It is possible, though it's a lot of work for nothing when you have a nice two by two table. So the probability of selecting a pet that is black and a cat is five over 16. That's it, you're done with this question. Next, what is the probability that we randomly select an orange pet given that we know that we have selected a cat? So maybe all the cats are sitting together in the same room. Ooh, like maybe a cat cafe. Okay, so they're all together and somebody goes and randomly selects one what is the probability that it is orange? This is a conditional probability. 
we would write this out as the probability of orange given cat. Recall that in statistics, this bar means the word given. Don't let this notation scare you. It isn't a particularly hard problem. Since it is given that we have a cat, consider our sample space now to be only the cats. So there are four orange cats out of the total nine cats. Four over nine, that's the answer, that's it. Last one, what is the probability that we randomly select an orange pet or dog? We can do this two ways. We can think it through or we can use the addition rule since you're seeing the word or there. If we think it through, let's highlight all the orange pets. Then let's highlight all the dogs. How many are there that are either orange or a dog? 4 plus 4 plus 3 equals 11. Out of the total number of pets in the sample, 16. So 11 out of 16 is the answer. If we were to use the addition rule, we would need to first think about whether these events are disjoint or mutually exclusive. Can a pet be both orange and a dog at the same time? Why, yes, surely it can. So these events are not disjoint. We will need to use the full addition rule, which states that the probability of event A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So here the probability of orange or dog is the probability of orange plus the probability of dog minus the probability of orange and dog. So we have eight orange pets out of 16, plus seven dogs out of 16 pets, minus four orange dogs out of 16 pets, which is 11 out of 16, which is the same answer we found using our intuition. Whew, thank goodness, the addition rule works.